Okay, I made a new discovery on Sage Coral. Sage Coral, or indigo in the SDI, Spiral Dynamics uh, integ Integral uh, chart, you will feel alone and you'll feel se separate from everyone else. Particularly because very few people are at this level of consciousness after turquoise. Meaning you understand that there's no self, you understand that you... Um, that your experience with the world is uh, is transpersonal. It's it's um. It's both. You are both one with the world, and you are both your own person. That's basically enlightenment talk. Uh, you you stop taking yourself so seriously. Um, you become more of an actor when it comes to uh, when it comes to real life, because you know that it's not serious. Um, Unless, of course, that person's ego has a really strong uh, shadow, in which case uh, they may forget their role as, as, a, as, a, as an avatar and not as a, um, and get lost in it. But in stage coral, you, you end up realizing that, that you have multiple personalities within you, right? I've said, I've said this in the past, you realize that you're made up of different preferences. Meaning you want to do one thing at some point in the day, and then you don't want to do it. There's a conflict inside your heart. Now, this, this spiritual concept was already known in stage red and stage blue, and even stage purple. And the way they understood it is that you have a dichotomy, you have a polarity, you have um, a choice, free will. And they're in your heart and in your mind, depending. If you're in stage orange you'll discover, or yellow, you'll discover that it's in your mind. Uh, but you could also understand it in the heart. Lower stages understand the, the emotions coming from the heart. The, the opposite soul is in the heart, not in the mind. Um, which gets confusing because the truth is they're contingent on one another. Which is why some uh, spiritual theologians end up uh, describing that coherently, harmoniously while others do not. Because you have different stages that relate to the different faculties differently. The intellect doesn't become important until later on, until stage um, blue and orange. But stage purple and red, they value the heart. So they understand that there's a wolf in your heart, right? There's a choice coming from the heart. And the more purple you have in that, in that theology, the more the heart will be associated with your, um, your lack of self-control. Right, So this is also a simplification because scientific discoveries have shown that the neurons are actually separate from the brain when it comes to the heart. So there is, there is a life force in your heart as well. So that blue, uh, um, that blue theology and red theology and purple theology comes back in stage orange if you look into the, neuro the, neuro the neurons of the, the body. But this discovery wasn't made until now, by probably by stage yellow people. Who are not biased towards, you know, who allow themselves to expand their mind. So they're probably yellow. Uh, so in a sense, you can say that the heart, the idea that the heart is important, comes back in stage yellow, right? So until then, everything was in the brain. We're machines. We're mechanical. Everything is is wires. And then once again, you you make a discovery that your your own heart has a separate life force of its own, and you'll have different epiphanies forever about how our nature is, how our bodies work, and so on. Now, the reason why I'm bringing all this in is because stage coral discovers that in their heart they have multiple personalities. So we said stage yellow, they understood that their heart has a, a sep their heart has its own capacity to do things and to be things and to want things. Now in stage coral, so you had stage turquoise, and now you have stage coral again, and you realize that not only does your heart have different desires, you are different desires. That's why you feel depressed. Because you want this and you want that and you don't know how to resolve them. So you do this at one part of the day and you do this at another part of the day and someone else thinks you're crazy. But another aspect to this is the realization that you are many and not one. And in a world of stage orange, they'll say you have multiple personalities, you belong in a psych ward to get an evaluation and to get medication and to get, um, get that worked out. As if that's a problem and not some kind of uh, activation in the brain of higher levels of consciousness. So, so, so that's a really big problem. So it's the, the it is true that people with mental illness, they, they, a lot of times, uh, medication could come in handy 
if if they go into psychosis and if they go into erratic states. But if, if they don't do that, and it's merely because people feel uncomfortable around the conflict of paradigm, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. That focus of the conflict of paradigm was way more common in blue. As you enter into orange, stage orange, you stopped caring about the conflict as much, uh, probably because more people were entering into green simultaneously, and so they were forced to adjust their policy and their outlook. So green ends up giving uh, quality, um, love, and, and conscience to orange in a way that wouldn't exist if everyone was blue and they were the few orange. So keep that in mind. Okay, so once you get into stage coral, you'll, you'll start to speak from the perspective of we and they, meaning like they'll feel like they're possessed, but really it's just different parts of themselves. And that kind of language will make them feel alienated. But even more than that, even more than all that, what you have is uh, a sense of leeching onto other people. Because everyone else who's in stage blue, orange, and green, they operate on a very different wavelength than yellow, turquoise, than yellow and turquoise. Yellow doesn't judge anymore. So they'll, they'll kind of be open-minded and that will slowly transition them easily into the turquoise. But these other three colors, they're very, they're very tangible. So when they, when they see uh, someone with a different paradigm or a different way of being, like he's bipolar, how many times have you seen on the web someone yelling or being upset at a girl, because girls are emotional so it's more noticeable, or a guy in terms of how society encourages them to allow their emotions to be expressed. Right, girls are emotional so they allow themselves to be emotional. If guys were seen as emotional, they would allow themselves also. But it's, it's a it's not a, it's a simplistic dichotomy to say they're more emotional, but so I'm clearing that up now. Uh, there's some truth to it, but it's not 100. percent So, anyways, the the focus of um, the focus of it being bad that someone's bipolar that comes from stage orange thinking, wanting structure and organization and and logic and it's not, how can I how can things be organized and logical if you're if you have 50 personalities or if you have uh, different mood swings that that's crazy and so they will be closed-minded to that and blue will think you're possessed by a demon they're still lower conscious or they'll think that you had a hard upbringing and therefore created some kind of faulty mechanism in the heart or the mind you know very vague vague ideas but they'll say it's something bad it's something wrong that you can't fit into the culture because we're, we're able to see something that will give you a label and and stage red will probably just say oh, i was one of the crazy women now, uh, stereotypes exist in, in all stages, so it's not that orange will, won't say that, oh, they're just crazy women, while red will, it's just, that's a, that, I'm stereotyping what they would stereotype. So, there you go, just to make it simplistic, obviously, attitudes, you can be a stage purple and have an attitude of a stage turquoise simply because they're very similar, you know, in terms of perspective. Uh, but they may not have evolved past the tribal mentality of survival. They're still living in a certain survival mode that's similar. I don't know. So, so it's, it's complex. It's not so simple. Now, the issue with coral and society is that they're not understood because they're so different. And the biggest issue is that because of this difference, people will get uncomfortable around them. And that's part of the reason why they want to be away from people. Because if I have too many preferences and too much um, diversity of, of, of opinion, of belief, of way of being, it becomes disheveled, and I can't have disheveledness. Uh, it's a problem, and and what you get is an uncomfortability, and that uncomfortability, we're social creatures, we f we feel it, we experience it, we know it, we sense it, and we push them away, and they kind of get that sense. But if you're young and you still have lower stages to go through, that will mean more to you. If you don't have stability, you're still in high school, and you're and you're and you're activating this part of your brain that has multiple personalities, multiple preferences. And so, there, for whatever reason, a lot of times activation takes place because of an abnormality. But, but um, 
let's not go there. It just happens to be that happen stress encourages you to activate a different way of being. So people go through stress and they activate that part of their being. Uh, it could very well be an advanced state of consciousness. And if someone say, oh, let me scare you into anxiety disorders and you'll activate. No, don't ever, uh, don't ever promote such a way of doing things. Stay on topic and to try to finish up as fast as we can. The core will therefore feel the clash between them and other people. They will feel isolated and that will drain, that will make them feel uh, empty and unloved. And that will also perpetuate different methodologies to deal with their emotions that have gotten worse as a result and the different natures that are acting out as a result. And then you have the And then you have the multiple, uh, oh, then you have the clashes. So the clash and paradigm, this is the entire video summed up in this sentence. The clash and paradigm is draining other people because other people want compartmentalization. They want organization. They want easy categorization of labels. It's easy for survival, right? That's their, that's their stage of survival. And so if they don't get that, they'll feel like, I'm so sick, I can't handle this. But if they're in a community structure where they feel pressured to kind of be open-minded, to be accepted, to be loving, but they don't want to be outright about it, uh, they may not respond to you and show like the love and affection that they'll show someone who's more like-minded. Um, but they won't alienate you either. And that conflict makes them feel drained. And so the stage coral will say to themselves, Oh my gosh, everyone around me just gets sick and they're they're, just, they're tired and um and that's the thing. What is a healthy stage coral? So a healthy stage coral is actually someone who advances to stage teal. Because it basically coral is the transitioning stage towards higher phases. You've just entered this multi-dimensional reality. Understanding that there is no separation between you and the and the viewer. And people will get psychic abilities. This is not a crazy thing. People will believe in it because it's the truth. Um, that each one is interconnected. And nowadays people will know more than ever that with the notifications and the synchronicities that clearly we're, we're connected on, a, on an unfathomable level of consciousness and, and, and synergy and, and uh, you know, not just synergy of stage yellow of like we can work together. It's a synergy of, 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 of wiring. That we are each each other you know uh, if I think something he's gonna respond because our minds are connected that type of language that type of belief that type of epiphany realization understanding all that is found in this stage so the the coral uh, is living this new reality that no one can relate to and and there's a conflict other people feel drained he feels isolated they're getting drained because of him. And he feels like a bad guy. He feels like he's possessed. And so once he, he or she finds their place in their stage coral, then already they're transitioning to stage teal. Because what they're searching for is community. Coral is basically, I don't have a community in my new stage of development, and I need community. And then once you find community, same thing with beige. What was beige searching for? Obviously coral is compared to red, but in some ways it's compared to beige, in some ways it's compared to red. That's why the spiral is not 100% uh, parallel. I'm sure you can make it make sense, but then there'll be other factors you're probably missing too. That's why um, I haven't I haven't made it, I haven't claimed that it's an art, or it's an art form of parallels. Although once you advance high enough, you'll be able to see parallels more easily, you'll be able to correct mistakes, because right now we're in it and we can't predict the future so easily and we can't, uh, and it's harder to see the past when we when we haven't uh, arisen as much. So beige didn't have food, so they band together and they got their food in a very disorganized fashion. They still had teepees, they still had tents, but it wasn't organized. Now, how do you create organization? You have traditions. How do you create organization? You have rule systems. You have you have a rigid dogma to keep us as a tribe in in a in a form in a formality, in a, in a set of people. And that is the community. That was necessary in order to transition you out of the wildness of not, of not having organization. So too with Coral, there's no organization with this multidimensional epiphany. And the moment you realize 
that people are like you, you're already moving into stage teal. It's that easy. You're activating the stage teal just by recognizing that, that there are people like, that this, is a ne that this is a necessary process. And a person who absorbs this will realize that stage coral will take like a day. Uh, well, you know, stage coral will, it'll, it depends how many corals are there, but the more corals there are, the faster the stage will, the shorter the stage will be. And that's why I've, I've said, repeatedly that this stage is going to be one of the shortest stages in in um in all the stages people are promoting like coral as like indigo it's indigo consciousness it's so high it's so great um so the way i see it is that yeah indigo is great it's a new phase of development but it's not high it's very easy to be multi-dimensional once you realize your nature like people are like, oh my gosh, he's so amazing, he's so high, he's indigo, he's, he knows how to factor in all these opinions, and he sees everything from a glance. No, it's not so complicated. Once you reach stage turquoise, you know, you don't, you know, you know you're, you're, you're a sham, you're, a, you're not a reality, you're just an interdependence of brain cells creating a human being somehow that's unfathomable. And the reason why we're able to understand this is because we've become developed enough and self-aware enough to know that this is true. In stage coral, we realize that we realize the the science of it. Oh, the science of it is that I don't exist, but there's certain energies that are encapsulating uh, that dynamic or trying to uh, capitalize and mold into reality itself. And therefore, you are many, and you are this, guy, and everyone is many. And then stage coral, you realize that, and it's kind of uncomfortable and it's kind of weird. Uh, but you don't even understand yourself. And the more you understand yourself the less lonely you feel, the more clarity you get. And slowly, slowly, understanding yourself, your new phase, is the transition to stage two. So indigo is not, it's not a hard phase to reach. And it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be prideful in it. You know, it's a really hard stage, not because it's hard, but because you don't have anyone to talk to about it. So people who are worried that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to enter into stage coral, it's gonna be so difficult, no. The only reason why entering into stage coral is difficult is because you have no one to talk to. And the moment you have someone to talk to, you're already transitioning out of stage coral. So it's not that you're getting put through the washer, as some people like to say it. Rather, it's that the washer is not having anyone to talk to about it. So the stage is literally just talking talking to people about the stage. And then you'll stop... Uh, you'll stop feeling crazy. And then stage teal is like where sanity kind of returns. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we're not going to get into so much of it, but stage teal sanity returns because then you want to uh, you want to do something with this knowledge in an organized way. So then you start adopting other people's opinions. You started, you started thinking how could we help them with this newfound knowledge of uh, of oneness and all that. I mean, that language is turquoise, but now the oneness is being applied in a way that realizes our capacity as humans to be psychic creatures. And then in stage Aubergine, that, in stage Aubergine, that will be fully realized because you will be a psychic. Um, you will no longer get depressed because you'll be talking to yourself in the streets, trying to manage the demons that are inside of you, that are actually your friends, that are actually your acquaintances, that are actually... Uh, uh, just things that are part of your body and so um so people are saying stage aubergine you would um you're very you're very rational right so the way i understand it currently is that you'll probably want to system uh systematize this knowledge you'll probably want to make sure that people know about this and set up the society in a way that you won't be considered crazy for this but that that's a whole other thing um right now i focus on stage coral because people don't know about it enough and people overblow it and people underblow it uh people don't understand it so this is the best way to manage this is the best way to manage without getting too high hyped up you know
So some people will believe that stage um, teal and auburn green have nothing to do with psychic abilities, or not that necessarily have nothing, but they they won't be they won't make it a crucial part of the of the stages. So the, my biggest question is how do you how do you deal with someone who says that psychic abilities psychic phenomenon is not in higher stages? I don't know, because the way I see it is you can't hold back psychic abilities in auburn green because because you understand what your own heart is. You understand what your own desires are. They're people. You're feeding people. And and if you feed these people in your heart, the people out there that, that are part of you that make up this desire won't get that desire as much. I Meaning feeding your own heart is feeding them. Amazing, isn't it? So when you have that kind of reality and truth existing uh, and understood in higher stages, I don't know how you... So what what could happen is that they'll understand this, but they'll use lingo that is so scientific, and so rational that it won't sound mystical. That I think that's what spiral dynamics experts in the future are going to have to do. They're just in order to stay rational and 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 kind of material uh, material uh, minded um, in order to speak about it, you know in a way that that is consistent with past uh descriptions so stage aubergine they'll probably say uh was they're they're people that want to enhance the consciousness uh in a forceful manner that involves collaboration of of uh of a collective sort you know um and that's another that's another discussion because we said teal was about collaboration and I made a discovery that no they're not about collaboration they're about um, they're about um, alteration or uh, or harmonization like they want to take someone else's opinion they want to take someone else's opinion and kind of match it with their own and someone else. And they do this not because they think it's truth, but because they know what truth is. Truth is harmony. Truth doesn't exist. It's a, it's subjective. And that's what, like in the Kabbalah, they say that truth is the same thing as compassion. And compassion is the same thing as harmony. What, what are you talking about here? So once you get into stage teal, you understand what the Kabbalah is saying. The Kabbalah is saying is that truth doesn't exist. You're creating it right now. What you say that brings peace to multiple outlets, multiple friends, multiple segments of the population, that's what it is. That's what harmony is. That's what Torah or that's what um, compassion is. Uh, that's what they're saying. But you don't understand this until stage heal. So those who want to live the Kabbalah life really should advance their consciousness. And those who want to say that tur really turquoise about the harmony... The, my response to you is that they're about harmony in respect to themselves and the universe. They're not about harmony in respect to alteration. They're not actively changing. They're not actually actively applying this knowledge. They're more of like taking it all in and teaching whatever they know. That's why it's inefficient and that's why coral, uh, that's why coral develops, I think. No, coral develops because of the multidimensional conflict. That keeps happening and keeps and yeah no but it's both so you have the multi-dimensional uh, understanding that's that's becoming innate I'm a multi-dimensional creature what does that entail that that's a transition but there's also the more materialistic aspect that they're so they're so um not bored they're so uh, accustomed to this outlook that they want something more. And that moreness is actually a part of their own heart that wants different, uh, it wants calmness, it wants chaos, it wants, it wants different parts of their day to be, to be structured in a particular way. Meaning they're, the reason why they want to change, they want to do something different than what they've been doing is because something underneath is calling out. And as they enter stage coral, they'll, they'll feel a little bit more unstable in the sense that their desires are divided and they have they have more desires they have more things they want to do and they're not clear that's why they're not going to be they're not going to be a, they're going to be efficient in other ways but they're not going to be organized in in a, as as organized as organized but then you know once you transition to stage teal then you just start 
you start connecting the dots even more than turquoise. And there's some people who are going to say, no, really, your definition of stage teal is actually turquoise, and your definition of stage aubergine is actually coral. You know, you can go in that direction because, you know, there is that claim that as you trans as you ascend, uh, you're... you're you're off by one stage. You can go down that direction. I'm not. I don't think. Um, even if it is true, it's it's true in fractions. It's not true in like entirety. You know, meaning maybe a fraction here, a fraction there was off, and I'll realize it later on. But more or less, the color or the, the flavor is the truth. Is 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 accurate. Um, and the point that I already mentioned to end off is that stage coral will not only feel isolated, but they'll feel like a burden to other people. And the only way for that pain to go away is if they find a community, because that's what the transition, that's what coral is. It's transitioning to higher phases. That's it. It's like a, it's like a, a stepping stone and the food, the, the, the sustenance that allows them to be placated so that they can transcend is community understanding. And the irony is that they have a community within their body. They, them, we, that's the community. It's internal. But they don't, they don't have a community outside. So they need a community outside as a kind of mirroring or a kind of uh, feedback that they're not crazy or that they have um, or that this is a part of their development or that they're loved for who they are and how they are. So just to cover loose ends, the disclaimer is that this does not mean that people who reach stage coral are men they're what you they're people with mental illness that like really all people with mental illness don't need medication and they don't and they're just in stage coral no it's not it's not as simple as that a lot of times people with mental illness the reason why they have it is because there was a conflict with their paradigm and societies and they couldn't fit in it's as simple as that. They couldn't fit in. And that conflict exasperated their sensitivity and exasperated their needs. And um, it, made, it made them to all have activation but kind of be forced into lower-minded communities simultaneously. And it just it feels weird to them. And a lot of these illnesses can be healed once they kind of ex accept those changes. But then, it, But yeah accept those changes. So the disclaimer is that people with mental illness are not people who have advanced, although a lot of times they have advanced in different parts of their brain. Okay, that covers that amazingly rich and important topic.